Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, we're gonna be talking about nested loops inside of Python. We're gonna specifically talk about for loops now and later we'll get into while loops in upcoming videos. So this is where programming can get a little bit complex and a little bit hard to follow. So I'm just gonna ask you to pay attention, stop looking at memes and just write out the code that we're gonna write. But fortunately, Python makes it pretty easy for us compared to some other languages because you don't have to worry about setting up nearly as much. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say for i in range, and we'll just keep the numbers pretty small. We'll say four, and then inside we're gonna say for j in range, and we'll go with five. Then on the inside of the inside loop, we're going to print i comma j. So let's run this, and when you do this, you'll see you'll get a bunch of output here. So scrolling through this, we can go through and try to understand it. So we start at zero, zero. And basically, i starts at zero, and for each iteration of this loop here, we're going to run this entire loop. So the first time of the inner loop, we get zero, then we get one, then we get two, then we get three. So it runs five times, which is, comes from the range five there. Then, next iteration of the outer loop, i is incremented to one right here and we run that inner loop another time. So we got zero, one, two, three, four, and then the same thing happens again, iteration three of this outer loop. So it can be a little bit confusing to look at it that way, so let's try to make this a little bit prettier. And what we're gonna do is we're going to just print J, and then we're going to say end and just use a space. So that way everything stays on one line, and then we'll print on the outside We'll say print and keep it empty just to print a new line. So running this now, and we get zero, one, two, three, four, and we get that a total of four times. So maybe this is a little bit clearer for you guys. This is another way to look at the same thing. We are printing zero through four in this loop right here. And how many times are we gonna do that? We're going to do it four times with this outer loop here. So that is your first example of a nested loop. And just so you guys are clear, this print here is inside of the outer loop. So after we print zero through four, we print a new line to go down to the next line, which comes from this right here. Then we do this loop again, and we print a new line. Then we do it again, and then we print a new line. And then again, I think.